Today I've got two uh, electric snow blowers with me. Uh, the blue one here is a Snow Joe um, hybrid electric snow uh, snow blower, meaning that it can run off a of battery as well as a uh, cord, depending on which power source you prefer. And then I have uh, Greenworks, um, most powerful snow electric uh, snow thrower that they have. Uh, it's their 80 volt uh, battery operated. Uh, snow blower. So I'm going to go over the differences between these two in structure as well as some features. So uh, first off, um, overall big differences, the uh, hybrid snow joe snow blower is an 18 inch um, snow blower versus the Greenworks is a 20 inch so you're going to get a little bit more extra width. Um, and also uh, the uh, vertical height, this one has an intake of 8 inches, the snow joe. And the Greenworks has um, a recommended intake of 10 inches, so a little bit more height there as well. For the remaining differences, let's just go down uh, from the top to the bottom. Both uh, snow blowers have uh, these ergonomic padded handles, which are very comfortable uh, and well placed and good for you know pushing into snow banks or whatever. Similar to lawnmowers, they have the retraction bar, which if you just pull it by itself, uh, it does nothing. Uh, but then they also have activator switch. Uh, the Greenworks only has one because it only has one power source. Um, the Snow Joe has one on switch over here for battery. And then one on the opposite side if you're using a, a cord energy intake. Um, one difference uh, right here is that when you turn on the Snow Joe, There's a slight delay versus with the Greenworks. It's pretty much instant once you pull this. Um, subjectively, the tension uh, right here is a little bit less on the Greenworks uh, than it is um, on the Snow Joe. You can't tell right now, but when it's actually powered, the tension right here is a little bit stronger. Um, so there's a potential there for a little bit more hand fatigue, uh, but we'll see in later tests. Um, another difference uh, is the method in which you turn the chute uh, for the Greenworks. Uh, obviously this is manual and it's done by a knob here. So it's pretty reliable, but it's also a little imprecise because there's a lot of wiggle room. If you only want a slight adjustment, it's really easy to over adjust it, um, but it's very fast. If you want to go from that way to the other way, it's very quick. Now on the uh, Snow Joe, it's an electric switch here, which is very, very convenient, but it's also much slower. So speed versus uh, greater control. Also, um, the uh, since we're on that, I'll skip down to here. Adjustment for the chute. Again, with the Greenworks, is manual and goes uh, quite low all the way back to here. And this is a sort of clasp spring mechanism, which if you want it to stay at the most vertical, um, if you're being pretty aggressive or maybe there's uneven pavement, in other words, it gets kind of bumpy, this can slowly uh, go down, so you might have to keep adjusting that. The Snow Joe has these tighteners and will go from a maximum of essentially vertical down to about there. So we'll see in later real world tests how much difference that actually makes. Both of these uh, snow blowers handlebars, they come out at the same angle. Uh, interestingly, they're weighted slightly differently, so the Greenworks you can almost balance it about there, but the Snow Joe, it's a little heavier towards the front. So if I do that, I mean it just comes right back. So it's, it's a little bit more um, forward rotational uh, force on the handle there. Don't know if that makes a big difference or not. We'll see with user tests. Uh, they both break uh, here. Uh, for storage, they do it a little bit differently. This one has ten tension clasps and um, it's not meant to adjust the angle at all. It's just to fold it down for storage. 
versus the snow joe. These two clasps here come undone and you can, you can either fold it down for storage or you can adjust it to a steeper angle, say if you're taller or doing a different kind of uh, kind of tack. There we go. Now the snow joke can run on um, two kinds of power. It can either be plugged in via cord, um, and to manage your cord uh, a little bit better, snow joe has included this uh, little cord hook over here. I usually don't use uh, corded. Um, I used to have one and then I switched to a battery only. And so for the battery, the battery is housed in this uh, um, snap to encasing. Uh, the battery is also locked in there uh, with the latch. And all you do is you pull the latch right there and out comes the battery. Now, similarly, the Greenworks um, has its battery uh, encased here. Uh, this is not, this doesn't latch, but it keeps snow out just fine. Um, and then the battery is latched in with this little lever. And I get pushed there, and it comes out like that. So comparing the two batteries, uh, they're about the same uh, weight, I would say. I'm not exactly sure, but Greenworks is a little bit larger, larger, obviously. Um, it's an 80 volt battery. Snow Joe is a 40 volt battery. Um, but the included 40 volt uh, battery is uh, 4 amp hours um, versus the 2 amp hour battery of Greenworks. Uh, so this one does actually last longer. Um, Greenworks does have a 4 amp hour battery, but it's longer, so it doesn't fit in the, into the slot. Now, speaking of the slots, um, the Greenworks is kind of a reach to get down there, so whenever I'm changing the battery or whatever, um, you know, I usually have to come over to the side, push it in, and put it down. One of the cool things about Snow Joe's is that because it's right here, you know, I can still stay behind here, um, push the battery in. Sure, it's already clicked in. It's just it's just a lot easier to manage it right there. Uh, both batteries uh, have status indicators. So you just push this button and it tells you how much juice is left. And the Greenworks battery is similar as one right here. I've only got two. I think I used this battery a little bit the other day. So now in terms of uh, charging, they both come with provided chargers. Um, if you get the battery with the snow blower. <clears throat> uh, and the charge time for the Snow Joe is rated at two or two and a half hours, which is fairly lengthy. Uh, the Greenworks battery um, charges in about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. It's actually very quick. So um, even though this battery might last longer, um, the uh, Greenworks battery charges very rapidly, and so even if it needs to charge, uh, it doesn't take that long and you can uh, finish your job if it didn't last. Um, but I find that the Greenworks battery um, is last long enough for my driveway. I think I've, I can use it for probably 40 minutes in light use and maybe 25 to 30 minutes of heavy use. And that's usually enough to do my driveway and sidewalk. Um, Test to come on this one. but. Anyway, all that to say, different battery st uh, strategies, and you can always buy an extra battery if you don't even want to worry about, um, you know, having to wait for something to recharge. Both of these have LED lights. One thing I really like about the Greenworks is that it has uh, dual LED lights. Check those are on. Yeah. Um, they're not super bright. Uh, but because there's two of them, it really lights the area really well versus uh, this one, even though it's adjustable, um, it is one-sided, so that is a difference there. Okay, now let's get down to the base unit here. The Snow Joe is, as I said, um, not quite as wide. This is a 18-inch intake. Greenworks is a 20-inch uh, intake. Um, but besides that, the major difference is 
rubber uh, blades, two of them, one here, one here with a um, uh, attached to a steel auger. Um, whereas the Greenworks has this nice bright green uh, double double blade, but entirely plastic uh, impeller blade. Uh, so there is a difference there. Now in terms of what material the impeller blades are made out of, whether it's rubber or hard plastic, um, the hard plastic one, I've you know hit corners of cement with that, and it's it's. Um, Warm the blade a little bit, but it hasn't cracked or anything. And that blade turns at about uh, 1900 RPMs. Uh, very, very fast. Um, I'm not sure how fast this one spins, um, but with the rubber blades, um, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna wear in the same in the same way that the plastic will. Uh, but rubber wears as well. Uh, so time will have to tell uh, the differences between the two materials. The end goal is basically you want the snow to go in and then be shot out. So regardless of what material the blades are made of. They both have um, sharp skid plates, um, which I know is replaceable in the Greenworks if it wears down. And I believe it's replaceable uh, on here on the Snow Joe as well. One final thing that I forgot to mention is that the wheel size um, is significantly bigger in the Snow Joe uh, versus Greenworks wheel, which is a little bit um, smaller. Um, in terms of material, um, I don't know, they're both kind of this plastic kind of stuff, so I don't know if it makes a difference, but um, they are a little bit different. That pretty much covers the structural differences between these snow blowers. I don't know which one I'm going to prefer. I've been using the Greenworks for about a year. Uh, this one is uh, new to my garage. I'm excited to test it out and uh, see how they compare.